A technique I like to use a lot, not a, in different situations, is, is a tapping technique, but it's, it's not uh, uh, a, a, a solo thing. It's more of a, a rhythmic vibe um, that I find really comes in handy for situations when, uh, um, you know, you just want to bring it up a, le a level of intensity. Um, but um, it, it's just a, a rhythmic idea, um, and you can do it anywhere. Um, and it's very simple. You just, if, if, if you're in like a 4-4 tempo, and this is 150 beats per minute, you could play, take a D and a G note, That rhythm just stays constant. And then you can move the bass notes around to kind of give yourself different chords. And it's very simple, but it really gives some push to, to, to things going on stage. I find it really fascinating. And then you can just kind of take that rhythm and you can embellish it. And it just, it's, Something that just rhythmically is very interesting. I mean, there's other things you can do. You can take it as far out as you want, and it's awesome. But doing these little rhythmic things where you're just kind of giving a bit of rhythm with your tapping um, really gets underneath the bandstand and underneath the other players, and it just gives this kind of a droney kind of cool rhythm that the drummer will just, if, you know, if he's taking a solo underneath that, he's just going to be looking at you and smiling the whole time. Or anybody, you know, it's just, and it's just something you bring in and out when you, when you feel like.